Hello, I'm Joe Paiva for GeoLearn. This course is on unmanned airborne systems and more specifically on the topic of technology and the operational implications of that technology. In this course, we will talk about some of the theory relating to how UAVs or UASs are kept in the air. We'll refer to that with respect to fixed wing as well as rotary wing aircraft. And we'll talk about some of the operational implications as we go through, uh, through both of those. And then we'll talk about what are known as fail-safes. Fail-safes are a very important aspect of running unmanned airborne systems. You, because you do not have someone on board the aircraft, you have to be able to somehow determine if you are <coughs> uh, always in, in a safe situation. So fail-safes are a way of taking care of uh, uh, a number of out of normal flight uh, conditions that can occur during a flight that you need to be prepared for no matter how many normal, completely operational, completely uh, within the operating envelope you have uh, for, for flight after flight. So there are many different types of unmanned airborne systems. Um, the two primary uh, categories would be fixed wing and rotorcraft. So let me walk over here and point out a couple of fixed wing aircraft. Uh, this is a fixed wing aircraft, meaning the wings don't flap, they don't turn. Um, I have another one here on the table. Uh, this is a fixed wing aircraft also, very similar in design, a little bit bigger uh, than the other one. But then over here, I have a rotary wing aircraft. So this is, if you will, a helicopter style of aircraft where all these rotors are spinning uh, to keep this aircraft in the air. So those are the two, two principal differences and we'll talk about, um, about uh, why you might want uh, those two different types of aircraft at different times. Uh, but on my list here, I've actually broken down um, to two primary uh, categories, what I call conventional configuration for fixed wing and then flying wing configuration. The two fixed wings that I have here in the studio are both what are considered flying wings. They don't have the normal uh, tail, uh, rudder and um, uh, elevator that uh, that conventional aircraft have, such as the kind that you might fly if you're doing a commercial airline flight. With the rotorcraft, sometimes we call them helicopters, but really they're not helicopters. Uh, they are uh, better called rotorcraft. And so here, pretty much all that we concentrate on when it comes to unmanned airborne systems for geospatial applications are what we call multi-rotor uh, craft. <coughs> 